Hi, good afternoon. My name is Tal. I'm from Ibex. I'd like to kick off with a story, a real story for a change. So uh, some 18 months ago, a patient had early signs of prostate cancer. He was sent by, by his physician uh, to what's called a biopsy, a procedure where part of the prostate has been taken and evaluated by a pathologist. His pathologist uh, reviewed the uh, biopsy. By the way, this is uh, a biopsy. This is how it looks uh, on a glass slide, reviewed over a microscope by a pathologist. And the uh, result of the diagnosis was that it was benign. Luckily for that person, for that patient, uh, just two weeks before his uh, diagnosis was, was done, Ibex uh, deployed the second read system in the, uh, in the pathology lab. And what you see, what you're about to see here, what you see here is the first instance ever of an uh, automatic cancer detection by a computer in pathology in real time clinical practice. You see a heat map here, which is overlaid exactly at the location of a cancerous uh, a malignant uh, cell cells that that, pa that patient had. Obviously, the pathologist report was was corrected, and the patient's treatment took a totally different uh, track. So, pathologists, who are pathologists? They are called as they referred as the doctors' doctors. Uh, pathologists are are key and incremental in almost in diagnosing almost all kinds of, of cancer. Uh, there's just uh, one small problem with that. Uh, pathologists analyze biopsies using glass slides over microscopes. It's a 200-year-old technology, more or less. Uh, very reliable, there's just one problem, it's totally not scalable. And with aging population, with uh, cancer research getting more advanced, we have more and more tests, we have more cancer incidents, we have more tests to, we have more biopsies to look after. Uh, and ironically, at the same time, the number of pathologists worldwide goes down. There's a shortage, global shortage of pathologists uh, caused for many reasons. Many of them uh, are, are retiring in, in advanced, uh, uh, in, in the Western world. Uh, it, pathology is probably not the most appealing practice for graduates of medical schools. Uh, but at the end of the day, we, we see a, a reduction in the number of pathologists. There's just not enough of them. Then there is the small issue with medical, with diagnostic errors, such as the one we've seen a few slides back. Uh, nobody really knows what's the error rate in pathology. It's very difficult to determine, but we estimate it to be anywhere between 3 to 10 percent. Think about it. 3 to 10 percent of cancers are misdiagnosed. People get uh, a result of a biopsy as a benign. Actually, they have cancer. They don't know about it. They don't go for follow-up, and obviously, they don't get any treatment. So this is the opportunity. What have we done at IBEX? We have developed using AI and machine learning the first ever based uh, solution uh, for cancer detection to be put in clinical use in a pathology lab. Who we are? Who are we? Uh, we were founded three years ago, some 25 employees based out of Tel Aviv in Israel. Uh, we are, uh, we've raised so far $14 million from a few uh, uh, VC funds. Some of them are here. Uh, with us uh, today, Amun and 83 North. Uh, AXA is the large uh, French uh, insurance company, and Dell Technologies uh, at one of their first investments in healthcare. We have uh, released our first solution. As, as uh, you can imagine, it's, it's, it's targeting prostate cancers. We have additional tissues under development, and we'll continue to develop new tools covering new tissues uh, as time goes by. With AI, you're only as good as your data set. Uh, we are lucky and fortunate to work with Maccabi Healthcare Services, the second largest HMO in Israel. What's unique about Maccabi is that they do their entire pathology analysis at a, at a one location. So two million patients covered by, by Maccabi, are, their, their biopsies, their pathology uh, tests are done in a single location. And we have access to that location, which means we have huge number, millions of pathology slides. And uh, it means that we have enough also of the rare cases to develop our, our algorithms uh, with. We have, uh, at the same time, we have the pathology reports and we have the EMRs of the patients accessible on the, on, under the same roof. This means that if we want 
to consider in the future, for instance, uh, uh, developing uh, prognostic tools or all sorts of, of big data, uh, uh, which may correlate with the results of the pathology uh, examination, we could do that using the Maccabi dataset. Other partnerships we work with on the, on the clinical side, UPMC, University of Pittsburgh, uh, one of the leading institutions uh, in pathology and especially in digital pathology research is a research partner of IBEX. We are conducting few studies with them. Uh, Medipath is a large network of private pathology labs in France. They're also a partner of IBEX and we're conducting a few, uh, few studies with them uh, um, in, in France. Maccabi, we've mentioned Maccabi. On the industry side, it's important to note that we work with in leading vendors in the field of digital pathology. Philips uh, manufactures pathology scanners. Uh, we have a technical uh, a technology uh, uh, partnership with them. Uh, Inspirata, similar uh, technology partnership. Inspirata manufactures or actually makes uh, workflow software that goes into the pathology lab. So we work with these partners together to build a full solution for the pathology lab uh, of the future. Our algorithm has been validated clinically in several institutions, and as you can see here, the sensitivity and specificity results are uh, very high. They've been validated against data sets. So once we've uh, finished development of the algorithm, we took uh, neutral new slides and we ran the algorithm on those slides making sure and compare the results of the algorithm to results of human pathologists, making sure that there are no, no uh, discrepancies, all discrepancies were resolved. So at the end, we like to look at the results of the algorithm, the validation data, as just as good as human pathologists. Some would argue it's even slightly better than what a human pathologist would have. Uh, and needless to say, our algorithm is never tired and is never distracted. Uh, a nice anecdote, you could see here a slide that was analyzed by our algorithm. You could see the markings of the pathologist, uh, which mark the location of cancer on the, um, on the glass slide. And at the same time, you can see complete overlap between his findings and the results of the algorithm about the location of, of cancer cells over the slide. So an algorithm, is, uh, an algorithm is nice, but it's obviously not enough. So we have a product suite which has two major benefits for pathologists. First, accuracy. So we've discussed that. What you are able, what the pathologist is able to have using our product is a, an unprecedented uh, uh, quality control tool. Actually, all pathology slides are receiving the second opinion, not by a physician, but by an algorithm. So you could have the QC level is, is, uh, is, uh, goes, goes up, and, and the accuracy, the, the uh, uh, probability of making a mistake goes down dramatically. Uh, another important benefit is efficiency boost to labs. So we've discussed the shortage of pathologists. We've discussed the cues, uh, the fact that we don't just don't have enough pathologists to handle all the work. Uh, what we are able to demonstrate using our product suite is a reduction in the average time that a pathologist spends on a case. Uh, with our system, he's able to prioritize. He's able to go directly to those locations on a glass slide which require his attention. So we're not here to replace a pathologist. We're here to provide decision support tools uh, to the pathologist, and we believe that that would enable uh, cutting down uh, the average times uh, uh, they handle the case dramatically. Cloud-based service, we, as mentioned, developed our first uh, module for prostate, and we'll keep on adding tissues uh, as time goes by. At least two tissues for 2020 are expected. So, why IBEX? We've put the first AI product in, uh, in the market in pathology. Uh, we have a seasoned team which uh, includes not only algorithm and computer science specialists, but also pathologists. So, we are developing the product from scratch with pathologists uh, on the team, and they're able to provide really invaluable uh, uh, insights uh, that enrich the product suite that we, uh, uh, that we release. Uh, we have a very powerful clinical validation at leading clinical institutions in several geographies, uh, which makes, uh, makes the data uh, more robust. Uh, and at the end of the day, the pathology market would have to adapt and would have to change. Uh, we believe the tipping point in adopting new technologies, uh, digital technologies, scanning, 
workflow, digital workflow, and AI is just about to happen. And so we believe that we are, uh, we are uniquely positioned to lead the, uh, uh, this, this market going forward.